Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3 A to Z. Today is probably not going to be a very long video because today we get to play, if you can see it here, it is Ait Abbas or Abbas or I don't know how it's pronounced, but yeah, it's this country right here. Um, the reason I say this is probably going to be a very short video is because historically speaking in this game, France loves to eat Ait Abbas. So we're gonna see if we can avoid that, okay? Um, we're 189th. Um, does that make us the worst? Hold on, I gotta see. All right, we're not quite the worst. Bahrain is the worst, but we are damn close to the worst country in this game, okay? Epic, love to see it. All right, so we are a single state, and I feel like we can take advantage of this, maybe. Um, very first thing I wanna do is start improving relations with France, because France, probably wants to kill us right now, and I don't want to die, so we should start researching stuff. I think society might be the play, uh, academia. We do need some schools. That is, that is something we need to do. Something tells me we are not going to be doing too hot this game. All right, decrees. We're going to be very reliant on decrees, so social mobility and road maintenance are going to be the main ones, and what are we even producing in this state? Wood and some of this. Okay, so... Let's do a agricultural decree to boost that stuff up. Can we even do anything yet? I don't think we have a construction sector. No, we do not. Uh, we can do that, and we might just be able to turn taxes down for the moment. We can still build some stuff. I think we should build a food industry very, very first, and try and find a way into the French market. I think that is probably going to be one of our best decisions. All right, paper. Can I import paper from somebody? We'll import it from France. That'll help France maybe like us in the future. Okay, what on earth is my plan? What is my military? Two. Okay, what is Constantine's? Six. Hmm. And my scars is 21. So any military conquest is going to have to go through Constantine. Because it probably isn't going through Mascar and it sure as hell ain't going through France. All right. Um, yeah, let's build loyalists for now and try and pass some better laws. Um, let's see. There are no laws we can pass. We are too technologically behind. Absolutely love it. All right. Um, hmm. There's a lot of problems with everything we got, but our standard of living is going up a little bit. Our taxes are low. Let's see what France's attitude is, because honestly, the only way I'm gonna be able to do anything is to get into somebody's market. And the only one I've got access to is France. So if I can get France to just like me enough, maybe I can be their protector or something. That is probably the strongest option for me. I don't really know. Maybe we can get a trade agreement or something. I'm just hoping they don't murder me off the bat. Algerian War of Resistance. Ah, uh, Formed Algeria. Yeah, okay, sure, we'll go form Algeria. Because that's a thing we'll be able to do. Mascara, Constantine, and Ait Abbas. So I have to take out my neighbors. How can I do that? Can I build up a military and just conquer Constantine early? Do I have the money for that? What is there? They've only got six. Maybe if I get technologically more advanced than Constantine, I can take them out. And if we can take them out, we could hit Tagort next, and then we could go back into Mascara, and then maybe, like I said, we just need to be friends with France, and I think we'll be able to do it. Hmm. Any decisions? No decisions. I'm starting to formulate a bit of a plan in my head. So, we still have a lot of authority, but I might as well just leave it as is right now. We need our people to be more advanced. And by that, I mean more literate. So do we have any institutions? There's no way. Yeah, there's no institutions right now. Can we do any school system whatsoever? Hmm. My, we have state religion. Is that why we can't do schools? Must not have, a, have enacted any of total separation, state atheism, or serfdom. We have serfdom, don't we? Damn, we have serfdom. We always have serfdom. That's bad. Hmm. Getting rid of the landowners is going to be a massive, massive pain. I need to build some more stuff. What do I even build, though? So food industry. I think we do a tooling workshop next. 
and then we artificially increase our demand for tools. How's our population? Population isn't terrible. The pop growth is kind of nice. We're gonna need a lot of population for this. Ah, uh, this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be so difficult to do anything with. What kind of troops are these guys running? I bet they're irregulars. Okay, they are irregulars. If I could get up the skirmish infantry before they can, that would probably be really helpful. Military-wise, though, we're kind of in bad shape. I gotta get my education access up. So we probably want to get some institutions just to help us. Like we want schools and we want healthcare. That is what we really, really want. That would give us a pretty solid advantage over everything. We have fallen off in prestige a little bit, but we have the exact same prestige, which just means some people have gotten a little bit better. I do not want local police force. I don't want to give these guys any more power than they already have, because I do want to get rid of them this game. What's France's opinion of me? They're cautious right now, so they don't want to murder me yet. That's good. That's good. I don't want to be murdered yet. GDP is going up. Population is going up a little bit. Hmm. This cannot hire. That is bad for me. Even though they should have pretty good access to wheat and stuff. Maybe we need to build up a little bit more. I have a sneaking suspicion that we will be sitting here doing nothing for a very long time. Okay, so this tooling workshop is done. Now let's see if we can get a little bit of synergy going. So if that... That'll make a demand for tools, and then the tooling workshops should start to produce. Yeah, because wood is cheap, so yeah, it's gonna go. Oh, uh, what is this? Ah, uh, we'll suppress it. We want a standard of living high. Okay, so this is gonna become profitable shortly. What's our population? Unemployment is insignificant, so we're gonna have to get rid of the subsistence farms. Okay, that should work. So let's just queue up some of these until we get rid of our arable land. Because if you don't have any arable land, there's no subsistence farms, which would be good for us. And then we can just import anything else that we might need. GDP is going up bit more. That's good. Academia's passed. We can't do anything with it yet, but we can do medical degrees, which could give us charity hospitals, which would increase the standard of living. And why did the standard of living just tank all of a sudden? Did people get fired? No, I don't think so. All right, so that would require steel to use. Hmm, okay, okay. So we'll also keep an iron mine after that. That should do something, I think. We still can't afford a construction sector. Uh, I should turn this up, actually. That's fine, we can lose a little bit of money. We get 929K. Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I think our big hindrance right now is population. We need to find a way to build up our population quick. And the best way to do that is gonna be standard of living. Why does the standard of living just fall off? What happened? What changed? What has changed? More people have jobs now. I, I don't get it. I don't need any of that yet. How's France's opinion of me? Can we do anything? Trade agreement? Okay, so if we can get their relations with us up higher, we might be able to get that trade agreement with France, which would basically prevent us from getting killed later. That is the goal right now. Get a trade agreement with France. This is just fluctuating all over the place. I don't know why that's doing that, but the GDP is going up. That's a good thing. GDP goes up, I get happy. It go down, I get sad. All right, we're getting rid of peasants, which is good. That'll constrict the landowner's clout, which is something we want to do. Still no laws we can even, like, pass, because we're just not technologically advanced enough. What about this? Earn the job, interest group attraction, sure. Okay, so he's got more clout now, but he's authoritarian intelligentsia. Epic. And he's moderate. All right, we're, we're scheming on how to get out of this. We gotta turn Ait Abbas into a paradise on Earth. We're gonna be a superpower with barely any people or anything like that. Market access. I'd love to get access to the French market. That'd be incredible for us. Infinite access. Why... Why is this going up? What? Nothing changed. You... I... I made more jobs. How is your life worse? How did you do this? There are more job options. How did your lives get worse? There's less peasants. What are you guys doing? Idiots. Does the price of green went up? Liquor and clothes are expensive. Okay. So, guess we'll create a clothing textile mill? Yeah, we'll queue one of those, I guess. We need to get access to more stuff in our market. The GDP is going up still. I've said that, I don't know how many times at this point. It keeps going up. That's fine. Population growth is not high enough because the standard of living is bad. We need to fix the standard of living. Can I reform the government and put the Sunni in charge? We can put them in as well. 
Okay, excellent, excellent. Any laws I can pass? There's just no laws to pass. Theocracy, that's that's a law. What's at the very top there? Professional army. Hmm, not yet, not yet. Not yet, no sir. All right, literacy rate's going up. I wish it would go up faster, but it is going up, which is good. That's gonna help our technology spread. And even though we can't afford a university right now, we can get some more literate troops and get that technology spread going, which that'll help us catch up to everybody else. Colonization, I don't really need colonization. That's one thing I just do not need at all. Actually, how is our market? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The infrastructure is getting a little too high right now, so we might just have to not build anything. Uh, government petition for professional army. I would love to. I would, I would absolutely love to. That is a thing I would love to do. So I think we need to pause construction for now because we're losing some access in our market. Though we're only one state, so that really shouldn't matter. You know, we just chill for a second. Things are too crowded apparently. So after medical degrees, I guess I shift over to urban planning instead and get a little bit more infrastructure. Yes, that should work. I think, think that'll work. Okay, I think I might be able to pass charity hospitals now yes it looks like we can do that this is excellent that'll be a very very nice benefit to our current situation I got I managed to get the standard of living up a little bit more than what it was by just increasing the infrastructure we just can't build anything else until we get more infrastructure which we're working on right now with urban planning so once we get that we should be able to build a little bit more and do anything else here yet um anything anything no it's only this gas street light so on the tr urban center health taxes okay hmm so we just do this one 30 percent chances pass we're not going to be losing any money it seems like so let's just do it loyalists from center living increases let's do it more loyalists is always good all right law is burning through charity hospitals about to pass already that's excellent excellent okay like i say we just need a foothold to start really doing stuff and there's charity hospital cool cool i don't think i can increase that institution at all nope i cannot but we can get urban planning soon now hopefully charity hospital increases my standard of living it's supposed to for the lower strata so yeah yeah it is what it is hmm standard of living no we'll just use authority we have a lot of authority lying around that we can't do anything with so we might as well use it okay hmm. what else to do i can't pass religious schools yet because we have serfdom which is stupid how do we get away from serfdom can we move to tenant farming maybe um who supports tenant intelligentsia are the only ones not in the government yet and i cannot put them in the government because they'd be pissy we'll convert here to get our government to be very legitimate uh, we just don't have any laws we can pass it, it's very very sad and i'm gonna cry about it seems like we're at a point where we can really only wait on technology to do anything with the said. We are high relations with France, though. I can't do a trade agreement and I can't join the market just because they're cautious of us for some reason. Um, What's the minus one? Why is it plus 49? That says 50. You're lying to me. What? What? Why does it say plus 49? We're at 50. Bro, that's stupid. Can I get them to like me more? I don't know. All right, well, whatever. We need more infrastructure. I guess on the bright side, we have been taking some power away from the landowners, so I'm happy about that. The armed forces are angry because their stupid law didn't get passed. Shocker. They don't give you enough time. We could do this. Oh, let's try it. Let's try and get away from surfing. We'll go to tenant farming. They might be mad about it, but we have enough loyalists, and our government is super righteous, and there's a 47% chance to stall. That's bad, actually. Hmm, maybe we get lucky. That's all we can really do right now is just hope to get lucky. It's all passing laws turns out to be anyway, half the time. All right, if we get lucky on this first one, I think we got it. If not, then we probably don't and have to just start over. Okay, that wasn't quite the lucky I was expecting, but I'll take it. Oh, that's why everybody wants tenant farmers. <sighs> Okay, political movement support. Hopefully you guys can get some more support than that because I don't think I'm gonna hit 19 two more times in a row. All right, all right, crooked connections, enactment time. 
All right, yeah, we'll just turn 20% enactment time and now that thing's gonna pass super fast. Look at how efficient our democracy works. Uh, plus 15% enactment success chance. We'll do the top one. All right, so now we're 34% chance pass with a 51 to stall. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna make it or not. We might get lucky. Oh, oh, okay. Let's do it, tenant farming. I shouldn't be this excited over tenant farming of all things. All right, it's gonna get to this last one and it's gonna stall and it's gonna stall and it's just gonna die at the very last one. Okay, we'll do, will it? Hold on, we'll automatically pick after five days. Yeah, we'll do this bottom one and hope to get lucky again. Let's go, tenant farming, baby, let's get it. I feel so dumb getting this excited over this, but now we can pass religious schools. Oh, we're gonna get educated. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Victory is mine. Screw you landowners. Pompous bitches. Look at this dude. Isn't that the most pompous bitch you've ever seen? This stupid ass beard. All right, religious schools. What's the chance to stall on this one? None. It won't stall at all. Haha. Uh -huh. Popular playwright. Oh, let's go. Um, enactment success chance, pop, see, this used to be good. Now it's useless because it's, it caps out. So I'm just gonna take the top one. The playwright is no longer good at all. The prestige isn't worth it because it times out. You get a little bit higher, but like, eh, eh. I wish it was permanent still. This course, ooh, enactment success chance, or, yeah, we'll do the top one. 47, let's go. We gonna get our boys educated, hell yeah. Things looking good in Aidabas. Oh yeah, our I didn't even realize that our standard of living was going up. Hell yeah. Population growth rate's a little bit sad, but I think we can do it. I think we can get it up a bit higher. We're 165th in the world. We need millions to get into the top 10. Once we get our first million, that'll be really nice. Technology, oh, there's the urban planning that we needed. Does that give us enough? It does, let's go. We can continue building stuff again. And then what do we do next? I think we go for empiricism because we can increase our education access and education access is going to be essential for us to get technologically advanced. We can overcome our minor power status by being technologically advanced enough. All right, now if religious schools would pass, that would be fire, but they don't wanna yet. They're slow, go faster, thank you. All right, so we're gonna get steel next. That'll be good. And then what do we do after that? Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I don't have glass, but then we can, oh yeah, once we have steel, we can do this and then make even more tools faster with less people or maybe more people. That's the same amount of people. It just shifts them over to being these fellas with the wrenches instead of the shovels. All right, religious schools. Give me those religious schools, please. Thank you. Got to get these institutions higher. We also got to get rid of slavery somehow. That's going to be difficult. Close borders of migration. That works for me for now. We're losing our radicals. Excellent. Religious schools, let's go. Can I upgrade that institution? I cannot, but we now have 10% education access, which means we're gonna get educated faster. I like that. I don't think there's any more laws I can pass yet. Are there? Are there? I go back to serfdom and just, uh, you know, ruin everything that I just did. Poor law. So welfare payments, political strength when receiving welfare. I feel like this just standardizes my standard of living, doesn't it? Should I do that? They'd be kind of pissy. Hmm. Let's do that. I think that's good. I haven't done poor laws enough to know if it's good or not. Uh, we're gonna add a consumption. Uh, let's do it on liquor. We'll keep ourselves above. Taxes on beer. Don't get drunk. Not, not, I this hell did I just say? All right, poor laws. Boom, blasting through everything. Okay, okay, not bad. Have an agitator. Can I get an agitator? Nope, no agitators. Uh, never get agitators. Womp womp. All right, burning through laws right now. This is excellent. And we're down to not having enough access in the market again. Love to see it, love to see it. I'm gonna swap that over. That should make our mines more profitable, I think. Yeah, they can hire now because tools are cheap and steel is expensive. Or not steel, iron is expensive. I think I've been saying steel this whole time. House is a faith. Enactment success chance. Become more radical. Or just enactment success chance. We'll just go normal enactment success chance. It's not gonna fail. We know this. Higher demand for tools. Um, oh, grassroots. Support for the law. Get political movement. Ooh, more loyalists. Hell yeah. Oh, dang, let's go. Oh, we just, <laughs> our whole country's loyal now. Let's go. 
What, how many, what percent of loyalists? Almost one in every four people are loyal to my country. Beautiful. All right, so now I have poor laws. I don't know how this is gonna work. Social security, welfare payments. So that should help to standardize the standard of living. All right, the lathe's unlocked, mandatory service unlocked. Right now, the only thing holding us back is infrastructure and technology. You can see a slight, a slight little dip right there. We're going up faster on that stuff. Institutions, I want higher education access, please. We take care of our people in Aitabas. Oh, it went up even higher too. Look at all these loyalists. Everybody loves me. Our government rocks, except for the military. The military hates us, but the military can go die. I don't care about them. Okay, let's do some investigating. We still have 30K peasants, which is kind of bad. We have 4.5 unemployed people, really? Hmm, maybe it's based on qualifications and that's why they can't hire. Probably correct, actually. It says that's gonna increase production. We need sugar, so now we need more wheat. Hmm, can't remember, do we, weed farms take up infrastructure, right? It's a one per level. Uh, maybe I should just import from France. France seems to like me now, so we're all good there. Production solid. Our literacy rate is going up. It's not where I really want it to be yet, but it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. All right, cool, we have crossed the 300,000 GDP mark. This is good, we've almost got a one GDP. Once we get to one, we'll be in good shape. Also, 9.1 standard of living. I know that's not good, but it's good for us, and it makes us a pretty, pretty okay place to live. A lot of loyalism, love to see that. I wanna get the, uh, the population growth rate up. What's the standard of living for the lower class? It's 8.2, that's not bad, I'll take that. Can we pass any other laws yet? Yeah, Republic, they would be furious, but that would honestly be really nice to get this early on. Hmm, chance of a political movement to get Presidential Republic passed. The problem is they would hate that way too much. But what if I did something they liked and then took it away later? I, I don't think the chances of this passing are high enough. I'd love to, but I don't think I can yet. We need... The problem is the old... Ulema? Ulema? Olema? Olema? I don't know how to say that, but they support this also. It's mainly the landowners. We need to crush the landowners' balls so they can't do anything anymore. Dang, the Ulema love me. So do the royal folk. Damn, okay, I like it. All right, we've almost got empiricism, which means we can get more education access. And after that, I don't really know what to do because we get a lot of non, really just pointless researches to do up here. We could do production. They're all in tier two for that, but that doesn't really help us all that much. And I'm, I haven't quite given up on it yet, but I'm slowly giving up on the idea of doing a big military conquest. Education access, let's go. More Sunni Ulma political strength. Hopefully, see what I want to try and do is shift all of the landowner influence and put it with the religious fuckers. That should work somewhat. What if I went theocracy? They would hate that a little bit. Is it enough for them to revolt about it? And would it be easier to go from, I feel like it'd be easier to go from a theocracy to a presidential republic than a monarchy to a presidential republic. You know, I've never done a theocracy, so let's do that. So, what did, what did I want to do? Okay, so we'll pass local police force to make them happy, and then we'll pass theocracy, and then we'll maybe go from theocracy to presidential republic? I don't know. I think that might be the way. I've never tried it before. We'll just, we'll try it. We'll try it. A to Z. New experimentation coming. But I feel like the Ulema would absolutely hate it though, but they're not as strong. I feel like I might be making a mistake doing that actually. Is it basically just swaps the landowners for... Or actually, no, okay. So we swapped a theocracy, then we start ditching the Ulema, and then we go to presidential or parliamentary republic. That might be the play. I don't know. I might just be making more problems for myself. Okay, there's local police force. Could I maybe try to do this? There's no way. I think they hate it too. Well, no, minus two. Let's try Presidential Republic first while they're happy. They got something they wanted, and now if we do something that they don't want, it has movement support. Could I boost these guys? We'll bolster Intelligentsia and the Armed Forces while we try and get this passed. Maybe we get lucky. I, I almost guarantee we don't, because we have a 74% chance to stall. 
We got lucky last time. We're, there's no way we get lucky this time, right? No way, right? There's no way. I'm, I'm hyping myself up for something that's just not gonna happen. We need to hit debate, and we gotta get a good debate and shift the success chance in our favor. There, there's no way. We're gonna get a stall. Uh, what happened? Are they... S Education access, level two. Let's go. There's no way this works. Look at that GDP, though. We're almost at a one GDP per capita. Dude, there's no way. All right, well, we got the first one down. Um, there, There's no way this passes. <laughs> there's no way we get presidential republic this early on. That'd be wild. Can we do any voting reform also? I, I, I didn't think about that. Can we do landed voting? What do we need for landed voting? Oh, you just need someone to support it. Ooh. Yeah, we can do presidential and then do landed voting. Assuming this passes. <gasps> the Austrian liberal revolt. No! Dang. Sucks a suck. Monarchy. Hmm. Oh dang. Austrian liberal revolt's about to get cooked. Alright, Sultan's speech gains one setback or we lose an egg with success chance. Hmm. They gain approval. Hmm. I think we have to do the top one if we want any chance for this to pass. Hmm. All right, all right. We'll see how this goes. Holding out hope. What's our infrastructure? Is this still bad? We're at 18 of 18, so we are at our infrastructure cap, unfortunately. Population's still growing, so that's nice. All right, there's no way this passes, right? Nope. You're critical. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that might be the end of Presidential Republic. Uh, yeah, let's just cancel it. It's not happening. What about theocracy, though? Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try it. As a 45% chance to stall. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I've never done a theocracy before, so it could be interesting. I don't know. Uh, too many dumb society technologies that don't do anything. How's our... Okay, we're 31% literacy rate, so 75th in the world. It's not bad. It could be a lot better, though. You need more education access. But we can't get any more yet. Not until we get, what, I think, the... What is it? Dialects? Is that the next one? Uh, yeah, it's dialects. So, yeah. We just gotta sit and wait. When can I get public schools? Can that state religion? Can't have surf. Oh, we do have a state religion, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do. The landowners like it's a problem. Blasphemy laws. Name with success chance become more royal. Uh, uh, huh? Five percent of the Sunni pops become more radical, and then they become more loyalists. Okay. Or we just. This is strictly a good thing. Whatever. Weirdos. Well, there's line infantry finally. Uh, what's Constantine running for their military? Hmm. Enactment time. Let's go. I can take off my liquor tax now. Can. I'm gonna bolster the industrialists as well. They're bolstering everybody. More minting rate. That's nice. A little bit more money to work with, I suppose. Never hurt anybody. Um. For animist pops. Plus 40% enactment time. That's brutal. There's like 25,000. It's nobody. Nobody in the country. The laborers are the highest population. That eh, seems about right. Oh, we're about to hit that 10 standard of living. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Just go a little bit more, a little bit more. I want to see 10. Let me see 10. Oh, hold on. Dissenters break rank. You losers. As we do that one, and now it takes half a year to pass. Damn, we were on good pace too, but now we're not, I guess. And I'm staring at went down instead of up. Sad. Still a lot of peasants. Damn, I don't think we're gonna get this one passed either now. Urgh. Yeah, I guess we just cancel it. No government reform. I guess the monarchy stays. Oh boy, I'm very happy about that. Let's try and slavery band. It's not gonna work. Well, actually, no, maybe it will. Maybe it will. They're plus four right now, so we might be able to get slavery banned. I don't know, I'm just hoping right now. We're just hoping if we keep them happy, give them what they want, we can pass a bunch of laws. That is the play. Could I get away with taking them out of the government? No, no, we could not. All right, we'll see how we get on this first slavery ban tick. Okay, it went up by 10%. That might actually be enough to get us what we need. Let me break, look at the law breakdown again. 40% to stall and 60% chance for something good. Okay, that, that might be it. We might have slavery ban now. I don't know how many people are slaves in our country. I don't think we have that many. So I'm assuming it's just the suppressed people. So in total, not that many slaves. So this isn't gonna do a ton, but it will reduce the landowner's clout by a pretty fair amount. Go from slave trade to slavery ban. That's 50% of theirs. So that should take them to what? 
30% cloud? Maybe a little bit less than that? Yeah, a little bit less. I think it's like 28%, if that breakdown works how it does in my head, I think. Okay. Ooh, all right. Well, we gotta take the bottom one, right? That just screwed it. 15% chance. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's dumb. Slaver arguments become popular bullshit. Well, now we're probably not gonna pass. Well, we do still have a high debate chance. So as long as we can hit debates and not stalls, we'll be fine. Ah, uh, we were, man, if that was a plus 15, it, we would have had it, we would have had it. Uh, oh, we got 10 standard of living, let's go. We did it, we changed the little symbol. We're now all impoverished. We're so cool. All right, well, time to get sad about slavery again. Come on, get past, we got the, we got the, the people. Come on, they're, they're fighting for everything to get that passed. Come on, come on. See what happens this time. Let, huh. Okay, so we reset, which is technically a good thing, I think. Because now we're back up to this, so there's only a 42% chance to stall. I think statistically, we still are more likely to get this passed than to not, I think. Maybe. Maybe I should bolster the trade unions as well while we're at it. Bolster. Get bolstered. There we go. A lot of bolstering of people who are not the landowners in the Sunni. Ulema. Ulema. Hopefully I'm saying that right, not just making a fool out of myself, but I do that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, we're above that one GDP per capita. Let's go. It's number 60 in the world for literacy rate and number 82 in the world for standard of living. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Time to not be sad about slavery this time, right? Come on, give me something good. That was the opposite of something good. Boo, you suck. Yes, I know we have legislative failures. Uh, thank you for thank you for letting me know. All right, now I think the chances we pass this are zero, so I'm gonna be sad now. Cause that was such a good opportunity. It got ruined by that 15%. You give them the 15% chance when it hurts me, but not when it's good. It's not like it would have mattered if we picked the other option too either. We needed we needed buffs. Standard of living is still going up, literacy rate is still going up, population is still going up, GDP is still going up, but I want to ban slavery. That's just so hard. You know, you know, just ban slavery. It's not that big. Come on. All right, I'm going to be hopeful again. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes, but we'll open them back up so I can see slavery getting banned right here. Right? I'll give it a few seconds. Give it just a little bit, just a little bit. Right here. <sighs> Okay, what happens? Progress is one phase, so we can force it through one phase. We can give higher success chance. See, the thing is, I think this is the best one because it increases our chance to 23%. We need higher chance, otherwise it's just gonna fail later. So we'll do that, and that buffs it to 23% chance to progress and 40 to stall. We gotta sit off, we gotta stay off of stall. We need like one more good pass chance. That might be enough, maybe. Probably not though. Oh, the landowners just dropped. Oh, they're losing their clout and they're, it's all going to their lemma. I mean, that works for me, honestly. I don't know why that's happening, but it works for me. Can we build anything else yet? Nope, still no infrastructure. Damn. If only we had sea access. Oh, we joined their customs union. Let's go, we're in the French customs union. Let's go. All right, things just got a lot better for us. We have access to everything now. All right, all right, hold on, pause that. We're gonna go stock exchange on that. Our GDP just shot through the fucking roof. Let's go. All right, all right, buildings. Um, Buildings here, we'll swap this over to that. We can basically afford to do any type of method we want. Yeah, we just got so much access to everything. Let's go. Our pop's about to have good lives. Let's go. Now, I don't want to do any migration because uh, migration attraction's bad. It's 15 here, and what's it here? 36. Yeah, we would lose all of our people to France if we were to do that. So that's a little bit sad, but like I say, just that's going to go up now, that's going up now, that's going up now, and we got way more money to work with. Um, what do we do with said money? We still don't have infrastructure, so we can't build stuff is the problem. How close are we to railways? Still pretty far off. I think I'll go pharmaceuticals next after I get this done, because this will be done and then that'll work on that and then I can just go hit pharmaceuticals get higher health systems and then we also do dialects and get more education access because we're up to 40% literacy rate which is actually starting to get into the like upper echelon of being able to speak 
Oh, we're at 25% here. Let's go. Okay, so 25% chance to advance, 36 to bait, and 37 to stall. It is not likely to stall. It will at some point stall, but it's like we get, I don't know, we got a pretty good chance to get this passed. We need to get it passed this time while the landowners are still happy with us. So we'll see how this goes. Damn dicks. And I can't try and do it again until when? Two years. Okay, that's not terrible. And has the movement died out? Yeah, it looks like it's died out. That's rough. That's sad. We were close to greatness. Anything else we could do with them I mean, while they're still happy with this? We could try theocracy again, but honestly, there's no point to. They want slavery banned. I want slavery banned, but I can't pass slavery ban because the landowners don't want slavery ban because they're dicks. Because they love slavery. What a loser. Imagine liking slavery unironically. Tragic. All right, well, GDP is rock solid right now. Being in the French market is a fat dub. We just need more people now. We need more infrastructure. We need a lot of stuff, actually. I, I keep saying we just need, but we just need a fuckload of things. We've almost got law enforcement, so we probably go to dedicated police force, and that would reduce the... Yeah, that would reduce the landowner's clout by a bit, which would be good. I would like to see that. I don't know why this fell off, like, right after failing to pass slavery ban. They were working hard because they thought something was going to happen, and then it didn't happen, and now they're working badly again. That's all right. So France loves us now. They are genial. Natural ally. I wonder if I could call them against Constantine. Conquer state, Constantine. Would France come to my aid? It looks like they do have a pretty strong preference for me. Like I say, I'd have to be able to call them in, which I'm not confident in is the problem with that. Slavery ban still has a pretty high support to it. Once those two years are up, I think we go for it again. 16 more months. 6% chance, 6% support with 18% chance to pass. That would be a better chance. We'll, we'll try it again. As soon as we get a chance, we're going to try and ban slavery a second. Literacy rates are actually getting pretty high now. We're like 20% off top 10, which is honestly rock solid. Standard of living is not as high as I want it to be, but GDP per capita is solid. Everything's solid. Everything's solid, but it needs to be phenomenal. I wonder if I start building up a military. I think I should. I've got extra money coming in. I think I just do that. Let's upgrade all units. We have access to the French market now, so we can easily afford a line infantry. Yeah, we'll build a, a military. And then maybe we go conquering now that we got France as kind of a backer. Because I'm assuming Constantine is still running irregulars, aren't they? Irregular infantry and hussars. If we get line infantry, we'll be in much better shape, I believe. Yeah, 20 offense, 25 defense. Solid. Because if we could take Constantine, how many people is that? There's a million population here. You know how strong that would be for us to just get an extra million people. And then also mascara, like all this, if we get all of that and form Algeria, oh, we'd be such good shape. I don't think we could form Algeria though, not with France having these little bits of North Africa. What's their total military power? It's 212. We could, I could beat Constantine. Give me a little bit of time to build up my military. We could do this. Now, do we have the population, though, to keep people in the military? That I don't know. Okay, are we far enough to pass slavery ban yet? 14 weeks. Okay, after 14 weeks, we're going to try it again. But the political movement has... Oh, no! The intelligentsia left! Dang it! Oh, that's sad. We can still try it. We can still try it. But we needed that movement to really do something. Dang. That's tragic. 11% is still not bad, though. And there's... Uh, they're at 16 now. They're starting to fall off a little bit. Mmm... Things aren't going as well as I had hoped. They're still going pretty well, but like... We have right of assembly right now. Let's keep right of assembly. Let's not change right of assembly. I don't need more authority. Four weeks, three weeks. Alright, as soon as those weeks are up, we're gonna try and pass slavery band again. Assuming this isn't too low. Actually... What does right of assembly give me? More authority, bolstered impact. Yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. All right, slavery ban, let's go again. They'd be minus four, but I don't think that's enough for them to revolt. I don't think there's enough radicals to try to revolt. 
Wish I could encourage them to join that. We still have a, a decent chance. If we can get a, like two good debates in a row, I think we can get it. And then that should be the end of the landowner's power for the most part. All right, first tick is gonna decide it, I think. Give me a first one good. Give me a good first one. Okay, that was not a good first one. That was actually a bad first one, but it wasn't as bad as it could be. It didn't decrease our success chance. We just need to get that success chance up. That's all we need to do. And then we'll have consistent hits. Okay, we got a good one, plus 10%. That might be enough. Nah, there's still 42% chance decline. Urgh. The trade unions just aren't doing anything to help. It's just support. Where's that support gonna make people more loyal? Okay, well, we're on a consideration, so maybe we get it this time? I'm not confident. I'm gonna be totally honest. I am not confident we're gonna get this past. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Maybe we do. If the intelligentsia had stayed with that one, I think we would have it. As of right now, though, it's it's still more likely than not to pass, I believe. It's just, are we gonna be able to? Also, with this military buildup, I'm gonna have to fight Constantine soon. They're 283 power, I'm 251, so as soon as I get more than them, I need to just go for it. Otherwise, I might go bankrupt. I need to take Constantine and then downsize my military. That is what I need to do. Oh, dang, this this is on adoption. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. We might actually get it. Oh, that would be huge for us. All right, so they're at... Oh, did they upgrade to line infantry? Fuck, they did. They were scared of me. I don't think I can do it now. Damn it. I just built all this too. That's so sad. You assholes did that just to spite me. All right, what about mascara? Yeah, I'm not fast enough. Dang, and I can't afford it either. Oh, that sucks. We gotta downsize. Dude, that's so sad. Donation of knowledge. Ooh, yeah, we'll add a university. And then that failed. Dang it. Come on, we're super close to getting this. You can't take it from me on adoption. I'm so disappointed that they did that right then. I was so close. I was so close to kicking in Constantine's teeth. A tier bullshit. Look at that. Right when I needed to attack them. They get swapped to Lancers and Lion Infantry. They knew. They knew. They knew my buildup was for them. <sighs> I don't have the money. I don't have the money to keep that up. Whoa! Whoa, why am I losing so much money? Government wages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. This university costs a ton. And it probably isn't even... That's the problem about small countries is things are too expensive. You just... I'm gonna keep it that high just to keep them happy. Can't do anything. No! Don't don't fail twice in a row, you've ruined everything. Give me debates, not stalls. Debate is 56% chance to... Come on, do those, do those. Come on, you can't kill me at the very end like that. I was a plus 26 and I got, I got stalls twice in a row. Come on, come on, you can't do this to me, game. I'm so close, please. All right, well, we'll see what this 2% does. Three stalls in a row. That's some BS. Hey, right, right, come on, give me the failed legislative failure. Back to 12%. We better get a good one this time. Is it, if it's going to give me four bad ones in a row, I'm going to be crying all over the floor. You're going to see it on camera. I will weep. Path to liberalism. Well, I'm trying. I'm very much trying. Given I'm probably doing things out of order, but I am trying. Internal affairs. Uh, fight them. All right, come on. Come on, we're close. All right, 19 days until I probably start breaking down and crying in front of the camera. Give it to me. Please, I'm begging you. Oh. Well, 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 plantation proponents publicized policies. If I recall correctly, last time you screwed me over with a 25% chance to. Well, I'm back. Plantation proponents publicize policies. You won't take this from me again. I'm gonna click this bottom button and the 75% chance is gonna pass this time. Otherwise, I might just uninstall Victoria 3. What do you say to that? All right, I'm gonna click this and you know what you're supposed to do. Don't screw me over again. <laughs> Let's go. We got it. <sighs> All right, it's like a good story, a happy ending. My previous failure, failure, failure. My previous failure shall be my triumph. It's all thanks to you. Actually, you didn't do anything. Screw you. All right, well, maybe I get this to pass this time? 27 on success, 29 on debate, 42 on stall. Watch it stall like three times here and just screw me in the butt. It'll do that. It will, 100%. This game loves screwing me in the butt. <laughs> Should I leave that in the video? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know, man. All right. Well, I guess we wait and see. We got exactly 27 days, one month, and then we maybe ban slavery. Maybe again. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't. I wish I did. Ah. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't like this game anymore. Okay. We're at 17, which is still above what we had before, but we need to get it now. Okay. Now please do as I say. No, we're not doing the Xavier Renegade Angel bit. Hey, I'm getting bankrolled by Britain. Let's go, free money. Hell yeah. What's up, Britain? Free relations with you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, well, we got another technology. We got pharmaceuticals and... Oh, okay, cool. Institution, more healthcare for the people. The people's healthcare. Free medicine for you and free bread too. I'm so good policy. Dang, our GDP per capita is actually pretty high, 1.6. I think that's what it was the last time I checked. Oh well, we've almost got 50% literacy rate, which is very good. All right, 70%, come on, pass it. Get it, Give me. let me get lucky. That was, that, no, no, that was wrong. Oh no, you're screwing me in the asshole again. Mm. No, we're gonna get lucky. We're gonna hit on a seven. We're gonna hit on 7% chance. I'm not gambling. This is not a problem. We will hit this. Guarantee it. Please pass slavery band. Come on, dick. Fuck you. You're the one who wants to keep slavery in Itabus. You hold us back from greatness on the world stage. Maybe I should go to war with Britain and they'll be like, Oh, uh, actually, you should um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, ban slavery. Funny, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to hit on seven. Watch this. Watch this right now. Hit on seven. Let's go. Yes. I told you. I told you. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. But I told you. Yeah, we're just passing all these laws today. Let's go. I'm hyped. I'm going to be hyped for the rest of the day. I'm going to be going through like drive throughs and shit yelling slavery band. Yes. All right. Um, and what did that actually do? All right. So they lost some. <laughs> they lost 5% clout for that. Yay. Um, what can we do now? Like, what? I got so excited on, like, if I could do it. I don't remember what the point of it was. I mean, obviously slavery ban, because banning slavery is a good thing. Um, uh, what was I gonna do? I don't remember what I was gonna do. Interventionism? These guys are pissed now, but they'll be fine. Um, uh, I don't remember. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know what I was planning to do after that. Yeah, I don't know. Prestige. Yeah, screw you. We don't need radicals. Radicals suck. All right, so they want to enact interventionism next. Okay. I mean, we do need to get away from traditionalism. I feel like agrarianism might be the easier pass, but maybe not. I don't know. What do we do next? Probably voting reform of some kind. Um, do landed voting? Can we put the industrialists or the intelligentsia in the government? We could. It would make it unacceptable. I don't think I want to do that yet. Not yet, not yet. So what's still keeping the landowners power? Tenant farming, commander in chief? How about you just retire? Ahmed, wait, commander in chief. He's not, he's not commander in chief anymore. Okay, uh, wait, let me look at my military tab. All right, so nationalism's unlocked. That doesn't really do much for me. I'm trying to figure out why the landowners have such high. So it's tenant farming and local police. Officers. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Change over to dedicated. Can I do that? There's a lot of people who would like it. They wouldn't like it, but they can piss off. Armed forces would like it. Put the armed forces in the government? Wrong button. You come out, you come in, 62. That's enough to pass dedicated. I wonder if I could also do professional. They don't like that. Dedicated police force. We're gonna pass that law on a 10% chance. Surely that works, right? All right, yeah, yeah, that should work. That should be fine. Okay, so the recent changes is slavery, so they're gonna increase how happy they are. And we got more health care. Standard of living just went up even further. It's a good day to be an Idabas. And we have a 1% population growth rate, which is excellent. Which, does that also mean... Oh, we can build more stuff now. Let's go. Okay, so let's unpause. Oh, no, we don't need unpause. What should we do? We can use steel. Let's do a textile mill. That textile mill that we wanted to build earlier, we're going to build it now. Desperate allies. Ooh, let's go, 20%. All right, uh, Desperate Allies again? Let's go. Oh, their, their appeasement's going up or their interest group or whatever it's called. Yes, yes, let's go. Okay, can I suppress the Solima? Not the Solima, the Sunni Ulama. Farming boom. Standard of living for the lower strata? 
to straight up plus two? Oh, let's go 12.9. That's amazing. That boosts our population growth rate by a lot. And more loyalists. Let's go. 51% literacy rate. Literacy rate's actually looking pretty solid. Number 43 in the world. I will take that. That is excellent. And this law is absolutely going to pass now. 52%. What is the stall chance? 32%, 50 on success. Yeah, that's gonna pass. All right, things are looking amazing if you live in Idabas. Desperate allies again! Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Even more. It looks like that does not stack though, so that's a little sad, but now we have 72% chance to succeed, and it's going to succeed. It just straight up is. Okay, cool, cool. Love to see it. We'll get dedicated police force, and that'll reduce their... And by their, I mean the landowner's influence even more, which is amazing. We still have no sea access, and... Infrastructure is still a little sad looking, but we're good. Honestly, having this high GDP for what little we've done is kind of solid. Dedicated police force. Let's go. It's into consideration. I like it. I believe I should also queue up some more of these rural buildings. That way we can get rid of more of this arable land and get rid of all the peasants, which will also reduce land owner influence. Hell yeah. Now we're at the cap again. So maybe we only build one farm. Actually, it's probably not even worth it to do that. I'll pause it before we get up there. Bureaucratic and bro, go no. Man, they're just fucking pissed. Pissy babies. Boom. GDP per capita even higher now at 1.8. We're one away from top 10, which is kind of a lot, but that's more than fine with me. I really need to take out Constantine at some point, though. I need to figure out a way to do that. Center's break rank. Dude, stop. It's a 77% chance to pass. Just pass. You have a 22% chance to stall. Stop it. Quit being little crybabies and just do what I say, okay? Gotta take out Constantine. Any other decrees I can use right now? Emergency relief for welfare payments. Sure, I guess. All right, there's dedicated elite. There's dedicated police force onto 77% on adoption now. And there's dedicated. Let's go. So that'll reduce their clout even further. And now I can actually increase investment. Uh, radicals from standard living decreases. I don't think that's going to be an issue, honestly. I don't think we need to invest into this. Completely honest, I just don't think we need to. Interventionism. What? All right, so we have interventionism for the Gentia. Hmm. I think I should reform the government and just make it more normal for right now. Put the Ulema back in charge for the moment. Professional army. Let's do it. Let's get rid of peasant levies and do professional army. That'll be better. All right, so we've almost got dialects, which will give us even more... Uh, what's it called? I don't remember. The one where you can uh, increase learn. I think I do modern sewage next for more infrastructure. Also an infrastructure for every 100k population. So that'll give us an extra four infrastructure in the state of Aitabas. All right, max education access. I'll hit that one. I'd love to do public schools. I wonder if I can do that. We'd have to have, we gotta get rid of off of state religion. Okay, can we do that? They would hate action. Not enough people support it. I mean, that's kind of to be expected, to be honest. Petition the government to pass professional army. We're already doing that. Hell yeah. Enactment success chance. Let's get it. It's our relations with France. They are friendly now. Can we do anything with that? If I want to attack Constantine... What do you mean they're cordial? Stop improving relations with me, oh. Oh, you're diplomats again. Screw you. Stop it. Law stalled? Bro, stop it. If I want to take Constantine, two Sicilies would back them up. Why? Sympathy? Bro, why you have sympathy for them? Look at me! They're just screwing me out every which way they possibly can. Damn. Well, what about Mascara? Desperate allies, let's get it. Low from unrecognized power. Ugh. There should be a way to become a recognized power without having to fight a major. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel like that's, you know, how it should be. Force recognition. I can't force recognition, dang. Never mind. I'm too small and pathetic and stupid, I guess. Lost, how is it stalling? Bro, there's only 30% chance. Piss off. You freaking dummy, freaking loser. General staff is about to get. Maybe that'll give me what I need to fight somebody like Mascara to be positive relations with you. I say France would join my side. Could I get them to join? I don't know. 
Uh, maybe, but I don't know what they would take. It's the thing. Desperate allies again. <sighs> We're increasing by 5% every time, slowly. Education institution level three, let's go. We have so much education access. I would like more health system, but I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to do that. How is the infrastructure here, 19019? So as soon as we get modern sewage, that should give me enough to do some more building in that state. And where do I go after that though? What should I take after? No, actually. Maybe I take egalitarianism next. Max social security institution investment. Sure. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Rousing speech. Enactment success chance. Enactment success chance. Sure, 64%. Let's do it. Successfully passed to consideration. Okay. And now two Sicilies would also help Mascara. You dick. Ah, you're screwing me over every which way you possibly can. Two Sicilies. I need you to fall. But how can I? I can't do anything about it. They're too strong with their 49 battalions. I'm kind of getting cock blocked everywhere. I want to expand. I, I was so close to taking Constantine. You have no idea how close I was to being able to do that. And then my plans got shot in the face like a baby with a shotgun. It was very sad. And we've now managed to be the number 20 power in terms of literacy rate. Okay, that's pretty cool. Given that's probably because a lot of these Prussian states got eaten. But most people in my country can read. This is excellent. There is professional army. Partition was done. Now what? Can I put the intelligentsia in? No. Okay, what if I do it this way? No, they, damn, guess not. What about the industrialists? Maybe. Who wants to pass voting reform? The industrialists. So I guess we'll put the industrialists in charge with the landowners and have an unacceptable government. What if it's just the industrialists? Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. We'll pass voting reform. We'll hit with landed voting. And chance to stall is like nothing right now. Excellent. And these guys are neutral. Perfect. Standard of living has unfortunately gone down a bit, which is a bit sad. So is that mainly because France is at war. It looks like they're winning actually, but they're watch them, watch them not force Prussia to not unite Germany. They're gonna push up and then they're gonna wipe people. Always happen. Ooh, all right, that ruler died. Cool, that should take them down a bit more. Nope, they just permanently have that modifier. Nope, there we go. There we go, they've only got 19% clout now. That is the end of the landowners, I think. I say the end, but they're still powerful. But they're only at 19, so they're a reasonable power now. All right, so let's take a look at our government. So we get voting reform done, and I think maybe that triggers us to move on to presidential republic. Apparently Britain is backing Germany. That's interesting. All right, infrastructure is higher again. We can resume building. Infrastructure is really cock blocking me right now. I'd love to have railways, and it looks like I might be- I think we do railways after we get atmospheric engine and modern sewage, and that way we can start building high, but population's still gonna be a big problem. All right, so we can swap that method over. So now everything's in the hands of the Ulema, which I need to start reducing their power soon. Enact interventionism. Could I do that? 16% chance. Maybe. Maybe we could, maybe we couldn't. Landed voting. All right, let's see how this first tick goes. It sucked. Damn. All right, well, that's probably not a good sign then. How did it stall? How did it do that? There's 0% chance to stall. How did it stall? That's not, that's not right. That's incorrect, actually. Let me guess. I still can't fight either of these because uh, two Sicilies would back them up. And... Two Sicilies would back them up. Screw you, why are you protective of mascara? Ugh, ruining my plans. There we go, France gave in, let them form the North German Federation, now they're gonna form Germany. I mean, I guess it's fine with me. We almost have religion, autocracy, nationality. I wanna get away from monarchy though, and I can't do it. Every time I try, I get screwed. But the, dang, wait, the industrialists are gaining power. You know, I have an idea. What if I, do this. Let's recruit some generals. That's fine. All right, so this dude, I'll just promote him a few times and artificially boost the intelligentsia's power. That could work. I'd like to do that for the industrialists, though, too. Or if I could. No, I could not. All right, well, we'll see how this 5% works. It passed. What? What? Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Come on, give me modern sewage, please. I need modern sewage quickly. The literacy rate's actually really good now. We're about 1% away from being in the top 10. That would be very nice. General staff, huh? 
Let's upgrade all these units that make my military power. 100. What's Constantine's? 400. And this is 500. Mmm. I like how that one thing is gonna reduce everything. All right, come on. Modern sewage, hurry up, hurry up. Give me that more infrastructure. I need to build more stuff. There we go. Why is the building rate bad now? We have four more infrastructure to work with. Excellent. Pigment success chance, 20%. Ugh. Three years on railways. Everything's gonna take so long. God, this law takes so long to pass. Religion, autocracy, nationality completed. Official nationality, what do we get? He gains popularity, I don't want him to gain popularity. More loyalists, more assimilation. Yeah, we'll do that middle one. Okay, so we're about two hours into recording right now. It's 1866, the game's about to start chugging because it's it always does that. Once you, once you hit 1870, game starts to slow down. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going balls to the walls, fellas. We either, A, take Algeria, or B, we die. I will not be complacent to just sit here and be a bastion of standard of living and you know, thinking and shit like that. We will conquer our enemies or we will die trying. So that is why I've decided that as soon as this paper mill is done, we are building up our military again. We're going to war with Constantine. We're going to war with Mascar. And if we die, we die. Because this is YouTube, damn it. I gotta make shit interesting. All right, they're getting built up. I say as soon as we have enough military power to beat Constantine, we go for, or maybe we go for Mascara. The problem is, both of these damn countries, oh wait, two Sicilies won't back them up anymore. Oh, let's go. All right, France doesn't like me anymore. Why? Belligerent, do I'm in your customs union. Oh, they want to conquer me. All right, guys, things are going bad. <laughs> um, yeah, this might be the end of us. We're amicable. They're damaging relations. Why? Why would you do this? We're supposed to be best friends. All right, well, mm, we go for Constantine. Egypt might back them up. No one's gonna come to my aid, which is depressing. Four battalions here with 127 power. They've got 18, they're 457. They are running, I believe, line infantry. Let me check that, they are. Our advantage, we have skirmishers. We have skirmish infantry. We can win this. We just gotta hire enough people. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take out Constantine. We're gonna do it. We're gonna turn around, fight Mascara. Hopefully we don't die to France in the meantime. They are mad at us. They wanna take our shit. Screw you, Napoleon III. Oh, hey, and landed voting's actually passing now. Let's go. I had kind of given up on that, to be honest. All right, all right, uh, what do we got? We have five battalions, 151 power, 464. It's coming down to this. We have six. Is it actually training people? Yes, yes, it is. All right, they got 18 and 18 they can call upon. for a lot of power, but my power will be stronger than their power. Trust me, it will be. I'm losing my ally in France, which is tragic. We might have to turn taxes up for this, and that makes our government illegitimate, so never mind. We'll do it once we pass this. 225 power, decrees, enlistment effort right here. Boom, rural stuff. This is getting changed over. Here we go. All right, we're losing a thousand per turn. This is our full send moment. Full send moment. All right, we got 273 power. Can we take him down? I don't honestly know if we can or not. I'm gonna be honest. I believe we can though. We're doing it. I don't care. It's time to end this. My law is not passing enough, which is really sad, actually. I might here do this, reform the government, put the Sunni Ulama in? Nope, that makes it worse. Do the landowners oppose it? I don't think they do. I, I don't know. Military power is 300. This is 464. Ugh. Okay, how, how good is my general? How good is my general that I hired? He's a defensive strategist. That's excellent. All right, here we go. I believe we can make this work. They shouldn't be scared of us which means that we can probably take advantage of them not calling anyone into war. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And then we'll set this, wait, what are you? What are you? You're an explorer, you're getting fired. Retire commander, you, you need to go on to defensive front. What does Adam and defense do? Plus 15% defense, ooh, excellent. So we're gonna go up there. They're gonna think that they're winning, but little do they know that our defense is gonna be out of this world powerful. Doesn't care if we go into debt a little bit during this. They're gonna slam into us right off the bat. They're gonna weaken themselves. Oh, I, I don't think we have much longer in this world. Fellas, I hate to break it to you. Oh God, Egypt has, why is Egypt backing them? Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of me? They're, apparently they are. Welp, I think this is it, fellas. I think we die this round. <sighs> 
they've called in Egypt. They're hoes. They're absolute hoes. All right, boys, eat all the chocolate, the cigarettes, and the wine you want. This is it. Our country comes to an end. What do they want? I bet they want to take... No, they just want to humiliate us. All right, well, we'll try and defend, and maybe we'll get humiliated instead. Ah, <sighs> the game can't keep blocking me like this. All right, we're going to win this defense. Watch. Watch how much we win this. Nope, we lose. We just lost badly. Uh, let's just, um, mm, yeah, before we lose all of our people, let's just end this. All right, we're fine. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. Um, the problem is, dude, I, I hate that I can't afford a military. All my neighbors can afford military. How are they doing that? How do you guys afford your military, huh? Tell me, how, how can you afford this? 18 troops? I can't afford that much. What's your GDP? My GDP is 700. You got 2 million. That's probably why. Never mind. Let's just stop building everybody. Boop, 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 boop. And you delete them all. We can't do anything. We're screwed. We can drop it down. We can maintain two infantrymen. That is it in Ait Abbas. Um, well, I kind of, I'm out of goals then. I can't do anything. If I can't get, if I can't take Constantine, I can't do anything. If I can't take Mascara, I can't do anything. I'm stuck here basically forever. Um, yeah, there's literally nothing I can do anymore. Uh, what else can I even do? We can just keep building up ourselves, I guess. What do I do? What do I do? What can I do? How much investment pool do I have? A million and it can't do anything. Um, well that's fine actually because our infrastructure sucks. But no, railway. Let's build a railway, I guess. France is trying to kill me. They hate me now. They're damaging relations. Yeah, I'm gonna lose France as an ally and they're gonna come kill me. Uh, I needed to take Constantine earlier. They had to switch to line infantry right then and there. And it ruined everything. I think this is the game that we die. It hasn't happened before, but I fully expect it to happen soon. They are pissed at me and they're still damaging relations. They're belligerent. They want to conquer our states. You really had to go get Egypt to help you. What did you even promise them? Hmm, what did you promise them? Gold riches. Can landed voting pass? Oh my God, you're at 83%, sir. Just pass. Legitimately 83%. And you're still on consideration. You have a 16% chance to advance and an 83% chance to succeed. Do it already. Please, I ain't got all day. I ain't got all day. I got other videos to record. I like how I tried to full send and I was like, yeah, either I take it or I die and they didn't even want to kill me. All right, it's on adoption. Now we just have to wait another 200 days. Yippee! I wanted to break out. I, w I wanted to take Constantine, but no, 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 no. You can't do that. Fuck you. They be, they, you became an Egyptian tributary just to fight off me. You had more troops than I did. You had more military power than I did. You had an advantage of minus, no, mi not minus, of positive 30 in the battle that you thought was gonna, that, but no, no, you would rather become a tributary of Egypt because you were so afraid of a person with less troops and less military power than you. Fuck you, Constantine. Yeah, yeah, screw you. You're the most beta male I've ever, I'm gonna, Wait, this guy's a historical dude? Bey Ahmed Ben Mohammed Sharif. I'm gonna look this guy up later. He's going on a list of people I don't like. You literally became an Egyptian tributary. Why did you become an Egyptian tributary? You just ruined your own... Why did you do that? Your GDP is gonna go up and now you're not gonna have as much money because you're gonna be paying it all to Egypt. France is coming for my ass. Oh no! Oh, things are going badly. Badly, badly, badly. Can I kill Mascara instead? No, he's too sisly. He's like, yeah. Protective and sympathy. And they're allied. Why are they allied? Who knows why? Why would you... Two Sicilies, you are so close to a major power. Why are you allying to Mascara, an unrecognized power? Is it just to screw me? Is it just to screw me over? I think it's just to screw me over. I think you're a little bitch. This game's trying to murder me. Hey, we finally have landed voting. Whoa, I sure do love landed voting. Wowzers, when's the election? Oh, wow, look, it's gonna be the conservative party. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Oh, they're making themselves some parties, I see, the conservative party. You got the conservative party and you're gonna keep your power because you teamed up with the landowners, aren't you? I see how it is. I see how it's always been, but a ploy. What can I do other than passing laws? 
What's the point of passing laws if you can't go anywhere? I'm in the, the liberal party. Yay! Oh, you see that little nudge? Dude, we're making so much progress. Wow! We're the number fifth most educated place in the world. I can't even use it yet because it takes so long to get any technologies. I'm losing my mind slowly. We're making quinine, quinine, and central banking, and none of this can be helpful at all. Because I can't, my population goes up. It's, but it's, I, 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 if I can't get C access, what can I do? I can't do anything. How do I end this video? What do I do to end the video? Unify with Alsace and cut Germany down to size. All right, well, France is gonna be stuck in the forever war now. All right, well, we can pass some laws now and get the role folk in, I guess. Confirm. Now, what do we do? Racial segregation? Oh, no. Sure. What are we right now? We're probably national supremacy, so that makes it a little bit better. It, see, it doesn't do enough for us, though. What do I do? What do I do? I, I can't form Algeria, because Mascara's... Oh, they did it. <sighs> they kicked us out. <sighs> They've kicked us out of the market, guys. Um, oh, someone else died? Who's the ruler now? He's part of the Sunni. Okay, the Sunni Ulema. Well, what do we do now? I'm gonna import that from the Austrian market. Let's go, Austrian market. Austria, can I join your customs union, please? No. What do you mean is not adjacent? Are you blind? It's directly adjacent. What do you mean? What do you mean? Austrian market is not adjacent to ours. What kind of bullshit is this? What do you mean it's not adjacent? Can you use your eyes? He is in the bullshit of the guns in the novel Austria. How do you see it? Diplomacy. You are. You have a. You're in the Austrian market? Because I don't have C access, huh? Is that it? Is that it? That's it, huh? Isn't it? Alright, alright. You know what? You know what? Yeah! Yeah! Screw you, France! Two Sicilies, Sardinia, Piedmont. They're gonna be at war. They're not gonna they're not gonna have time to send people to me. I'm gonna take this super quick. They're not gonna see it coming, and I'm just gonna have it. How about that? How about that? Well, they're gonna conquer Idabis. Screw you, I gotta I'm taking this. I'm getting C access or I'm dying. That's how this goes. And I'm gonna get a sneaky win. They're not gonna send any armies while they're fighting the Germans, and I'm just gonna sneak right in there. I'm gonna sneak right up in there, like on my tippy toes, and then I go ding. I'm gonna steal it. See, see, they're still not sending any armies because they don't. What are we gonna do? Here's the plan, here's the plan. You, advance front. We're gonna sneak along. They have their boats here, but they don't have any army. They're gonna be fighting, they're gonna be too busy fighting Germany to do anything about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this is gonna work. All right, all right, my 2K troops, quickly, quickly, before they realize, before they realize, I'm gonna take that state from. All right, quickly, move in troops, quickly, grab it, go faster. You're not going fast enough. All right, all we gotta do, all we gotta do, come on, come on, get there a little bit faster. They're too busy fighting Germany. They're losing to Germany. We're gonna win, take that state. Come on, come on, take it. Did we take it? No, we haven't taken it yet. Come on, a little bit more. How many battles? There's nobody there. How many battles do we gotta do? All right, we did it, we did it. Watch this, watch this, we win, we win. All right, all right, all you gotta do, yeah, just stay mobilized. We're gonna win. They're losing two, and I'm losing 0.4. So as long as they don't remember that we're here, we'll be fine, right? There's no supply of ammunition. Okay, don't worry, we will win this. It'll work, it'll work. This is the most ballsy thing I've ever done. It'll work. We're gonna take that land back, and that'll give us sea access, and then we can do something else. They won't remember. They're in, how many wars are they in? <laughs> they have an alliance with Brazil. I'm not at war with Brazil, am I? I'm at war with French Senegal. They'll forget, they're gonna forget. They won't remember. They won't remember. I can't believe this is working. Oh God, I get terrified every time I see some troops come by. Oh, they're getting decked by Germany. Let's go, Germany. Hell yeah. Just keep fighting them and I'm just gonna keep sitting right here. All right, well, they lost. That means all their attention is now on me, but they won't remember, right? I, I'm scared. I'm very scared scared. Don't see me. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. I'm not here. You're not at war right now. Shh. Everybody stay quiet. We sit here long enough and we stay still. They won't remember. They just have their navy here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Game's chugging. We're the number three most literate country in the world and our literacy is what helps us beat France in a war. Dude, if I win this war, I'm gonna be so happy. They won't white peace yet. Cause relative military strength. <laughs> 
Oh, let's go. And we're passing racial segregation. Uh, my authority is gone. That's okay. Radicals are going up slightly. Dude, dude, there's no way. Is this actually gonna work? They're gonna forget. They forgot that I'm here. <laughs> they don't know what to do. <laughs> let's go. It's working. <laughs> Oh, not yet, not yet. We're, it's, it's gonna take us so long. Mm. All right, what do we do in the meantime? Um, sure, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do both. I can't accept both. Come on. There's, dude, there's no way. Oh, the French are taking loans. They can't demobilize. Ah, oh, this is amazing. And we're about to pass racial segregation. I didn't, dude, I, I just started like passing that thinking like, oh, sure, maybe we get it. But dude, we're actually about to get it. What the hell? Dude, I'm about to beat France in a war with only two troops. <laughs> this is so stupid. How is this working? How is this working? Dude, I don't get it. Could I have just done this the whole time? How many people are in here? There's just 34,000 people here and they're about to all be mine. Mwah. All right, just a little bit more. I think we bugged out the AI enough. France is just gonna lose their foothold. That's so funny. Fellas, we did it. We beat France in a war with only two battalions. <laughs> Let's go. And we just gained a ton of people. Our literacy rate dropped off uh, pretty hard, but now we're racist. That makes it better. Not really. There's a lot of French people in our country now. I didn't think about that. I think we got a nice German empire up here. France absolutely hates me now. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude this episode of Victoria 3 A to Z. Unfortunately, there's just nothing else I can do. I've been dealt a bad hand. I can't fight Constantine. I can't fight Mascara. I don't have the ability to naval invade anybody else. So unfortunately, this has got to come to an end. I can sit here and pass some more laws, but I don't think anybody really wants to sit here and watch me pass laws. So so this is the end of this video. We will be back in this region shortly though, because Constantine starts with a C. So we will be back here before you know it. We will form Algeria at some point. If it's not with Constantine, it will be with Mascara. Trust me on that. But I, I am fully content to have beaten France with only two battalions. That is, I don't know how that worked to be honest, it just did. That is gonna conclude this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.